Have you noticed that every day, and it doesn't matter the publication, whether it leans conservative or leans liberal, doesn't whether it's mainstream like Faux Pas News, formerly known as Fox News, or Newsweek, or the Wall Street Journal, or the Washington Post, you see these headlines. Harris in trouble. 24 hours later. Trump imploding. Every 24 hours. Harris is ahead. 24 hours later. Harris is behind. 24 hours later, Harris has the lead. Trump in trouble in all the battleground states. Next day, Trump has all the battleground states locked down. And you're wondering, which is it? What is it? Stay tuned. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You can't handle the truth. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty. This is the Afternoon Drive. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And once you are, smack the bell, click the word all. That will give you a notification of my rants, my ravings, and yes, my undeniably flawless reasonings. Please like and share this video. It's the only way that we can get the word out that we're here. Thank you so much for being a part of the Afternoon Drive. I told you a month ago not to panic that there would be a honeymoon, a surge for Kamala, but everything would come back to planet reality in time. You know, she got no bump from her DNC masquerade party, you know, where they pretended to make her, you know, a patriotic American. Um, you know, these, these so-called, there's, there's euphoria for her now. It's, it's manufactured by the media. I'm not saying that Low information voters aren't looking at that going, wow, I, I, well, maybe Kamala's the one. I, I'm not saying that's not happening. Well, I'm saying there, there, you don't take somebody who was literally the most uh, hated vice president of all time, and literally they're trying to convince us that in a 24-hour flip after Biden said he wasn't running anymore, that she immediately became the it girl. She's the cool Mamala Harris that everybody just wants a hug from, according to Drew Barrymore. That, 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 that is not happening. What is happening is she's hiding. She's not giving Trump any ammunition because you can't nail her down on any policy. Other than in this interview that she did, she can basically say, I, I know you've known me for like eight years and, and I just want you to know that every answer that you've ever, to every question you've ever asked me from before, I'm going to completely change, but my values have stayed the same. That was the takeaway of the Kamala interview, period. There, there's, there's no other way to describe it than that. She's changed, supposedly, every policy she's ever had. She's now for the border. She's now for the police. She is now uh, for building the wall. She is now uh, for uh, uh, tax breaks for, uh, uh, you know, the, the tax, no more, tick, no more tax on tips, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Everything she's ever been for. She's now against. She's for fracking. No, she's not. I've said this before and I will say it again. For her to flip this quick means one of two things. Either A, she didn't believe what she was saying before, or and she's only saying this, or she's, she's saying what she has to say now to appease where the voters are at, which basically means this woman has no, no convictions, no soul. Now, doesn't matter the publication. One day, you know, Fox is running headlines that Trump is behind. Then the next day, he's command and in the lead. And it goes back and forth and back and forth. It all depends on the polls. It all depends on how they're skewed. The one polling that has been consistently on point has been the Rasmussen polls. That's the ones I'm watching. You got even Nate Silver, who has always been the darling of the media, saying, eh, this is not Kamala's. She's not doing as well as you say she's doing. Here's the thing. Forget all that. Kamala doesn't want to debate Trump. Kamala doesn't want to debate Trump. Kamala does not want to debate Trump. She can't just back out because that makes her look even weaker than she is. 
So what they're doing is they're trying to, her team is trying to come up with new rules of engagement, hoping to get Trump to say, finally say, I'm not doing this. You know, where she tells like ABC, all right, um, you have to like automatically declare me the winner even before we debate. You have to say that. Kamala has won this debate. And you have to say that in the commercials leading up to it. Now, when Team Trump is asked, okay, can we advertise that Kamala's the winner? No. <gasps> See, Trump doesn't want to debate now. Trump doesn't want to debate now. They're, they're, they're just, they're, she doesn't want to debate him. Because she's hiding. Because every time she goes out and talks, she gets in trouble. She, she, she can't interview. I mean, Dana Bash gave her a softball interview, but, you know, Megyn Kelly said, right, you have a timid reporter interviewing a timid candidate because Kamala doesn't know how to answer questions. Tim Walls, boy, does that, does that dude lie with just ease? His whole military record is now explained away as, well, my wife says I don't always use the best grammar. What? Yeah. Um, don't panic. Breathe. What Trump needs to do on the debate stage, and again, these, these muted mics are Trump's friend. These are going to help him. Number one, get her talking. Get her talking, get her talking, get her talking. The more she talks, the more people go, mm. I'm not saying she didn't get a little bump in enthusiasm in the polls. She hadn't said anything. Now she's talking. Now She's being grilled on policies or lack thereof. And what Trump can't do is let her wander and do her word thing where she doesn't answer anything. He needs to pick a couple of items like the economy and immigration and really just nail her on what you just said was not an answer. How are you actually going to fix the economy? How is what you're proposing going to actually lower prices? Because inflation is not caused by price gouging. Inflation is caused by the fact that you and Joe dump money into the economy and that created inflation, which it always create. You know, take an opportunity here, Mr. Trump, to draw her out, get her on record with certain points when it comes to policy, and then you have something to keep hitting her and nailing her on. Now, I have no doubt... Kamala is going to try something snarky because she, she wants to do the whole I'm a woman boss thing with that. Excuse me, I'm talking now. With the muted mic, she can't do that. But she is liable to try something like this on you, Mr. President. You need to be ready for it. She's going to look at you and say, so tell me, Donald, and tell America, am I black? It's going to be hard for you not to take the bait. I know that. I know that. I know that. I know that. Don't don't take the bait on that kind of stuff because she, she, she wants to make this about gender. She wants to make this about race. She wants to make this about anything but the record. You have got to absolutely boat anchor her to the Joe Biden record. The euphoria that they're sensing in the polls and picking up that the Democrats have plus 10 now on enthusiasm to go vote. You need to remind the Democrats she is the Biden administration. You need to take her, her strong point that she keeps trying to make is we're going to go forward. You want to look at America and say, don't you want to go back to when you could afford groceries? Don't you want to go back to when you could afford gas? Don't you want to go back to when uh, interest rates were such that you could buy a house? You got to spin it back on her. And don't take the debate, the, the, the bait when she tries to draw you into a debate over something like her race. When she says, Donald, Am I black? You just look at her and say something kind of funny in return. Kamala, you can be whatever you want to be. <laughs> and, and maybe even one little snide remark in passing like, because depending on who you're talking to tomorrow, you're going to change your accent and your life story. So be whoever you want to be. And then that just drop it. That's the smack back right there. That's the smack back. But to everybody else watching these polls up and down, and one day Fox is positive, the next day it's negative, breathe, 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 breathe. 
We just have to keep her talking.